I knew that I wanted to create change in the world. I just couldn't necessarily figure out how yet. It wasn't until my sophomore year in high school when I went to the Israeli embassy in D.C. The speaker we had was talking about how the U.S. and Israel are best friends. I thought that, you know, I was the only one that really liked Israel. So then I realized, you know, there's a political avenue to get involved. And then a week after that, my father passed away suddenly. He had been encouraging my pro-Israel advocacy. He had emailed my representative the week before he passed away, and the representative showed up at his funeral and said, your father had one dying wish for you, and that was for you to follow your dreams and stand up for what you believe in. Please welcome APAC campus activist, Lila Greenberg. This work is a calling. I implore you this weekend, find out what APAC means to you. High School Summit is just the beginning. Losing my father at 16 wasn't something I was expecting and wasn't something if I knew I could handle or not, but channeling all of that into advocacy for Israel, which was my connection to him, helped a lot. So I encouraged Adam to say at the meeting last night, um, let's do introductions, let's do thank yous, let's do an Israel update, and I'll be in the meeting with the congressman. I struggle all the time to balance my pro-Israel advocacy and being a student. How was your weekend? We have anti-communist credentials with the U.S. and the United Kingdom, which we talked about. We also talked about I would also thank College Democrats, College Republicans, Student Council, and BIG. Without my involvement with APAC, I would be doing all of these activities that wouldn't make a difference. You guys are going to come tonight, which is amazing because you're Republicans and this is a Democratic speaker. Fall of my freshman year were the 2012 elections, and APAC said, get involved on a pro-Israel campaign. You know, build these relationships. And there was this freshman congressman, Mark Pocan. Lila, nice to see you. Yeah, good to see you, Who had actually gone to Madison. We want to make sure that those sanctions are affecting the regime and the nuclear program. And our monthly newsletter, which we send to your office oh, each I, I know I can reach out to Lila because uh, we already are having a dialogue. You know, we've gotten together multiple times. Uh, we talk about the issues, and Lila's been a really great advocate. So without further ado, Congressman Mark Pocan. Trying to make sure we have even more of a strategic partnership uh, with Israel, uh, making sure that... I have a lot of dreams for the future. I'm only 19 right now, but I want to stay involved with APAC and I want to stay involved in pro-Israel advocacy. I'm head of our political committee and Natanya is... Because I know every day when I'm advocating for Israel that it's something my father believes in and it's something that hopefully he'd be proud of me for.